Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Clarissa. Today I'm going to be talking to you about PCSE. In a few weeks, we will be leaving Virginia. So I just wanted to go over a few things with you guys. The first thing is when you're PCSing, it's good to go ahead and make an appointment for housing. Even if you're not sure you're going to stay on post, you're, if you're unsure, still go ahead and make an appointment. For housing that way when you get there and things don't work out off post you have a house on post and nine times out of ten the house will be available for you guys unless it's a long waiting list but I do have um, a clipboard here I wrote a few things down you guys um also almost always <clears throat> on Facebook they have like a um Facebook group for uh, military wise, so wherever you're going, whether it's Fort Benning or Fort Hood, they always, almost always have a group. So the wives are on there, <clears throat> and all you have to do is just um, I forgot. Like I, what I do is you got to get accepted. I don't know how that is within a couple of hours you can go on there and ask questions or whatever. But you do have to like, sometimes they even have you like uh, fill out a little something on Facebook. But, um, and you can ask questions or any concerns that you have. But the next thing, if you have kids, of course, you need to find a school. Some schools on post, if you live on post, they do have schools on post. And now if you live off post, that's where you gotta really look for a school for your, um, your child your kids the next thing um i think is important to do <clears throat> uh um now let's get into so that's like getting there right and getting situated or whatever but let's get into before we leave um, there is a few ways you can get packed up, you guys. You could do, you can pack your own stuff up. You can have the military pack you when you fly. You can do a partial ditty move, whatever. If there's a few ways you can go about doing it. Uh, they are um, different amount of money that you get, I could say. Like, if you move yourself, I think they'll give you the money, give you some money. And if you do a partial duty move, they'll give you a little bit more, like give you some money too, but not as much. It's just different ways that you can go about doing um, the moving situation when you're PCSing, if that makes sense to you guys. So there's partial duty move, there's you're moving yourself, and then there's the government that's moving you. Also, <clears throat> We are doing a partial day move. So, I mean, it's just to each his own. We Sometimes we have the military move us, so whatever. Um, but I can tell you that all PCS moves are different. They are very different. Um, not every PCS moves are going to be the same, of course. You know, um, I, I'm trying to think, have I had a bad PCS move? I don't think I had. I've been in the military for, not me, but my husband's been in the military for a while. Um, but, yeah. Uh, let's see what else. <clears throat> so I told you about the Facebook group. I told you about make sure you go and still make an appointment for housing, even if you're unsure about it. Um... <clears throat> Sorry about that, you guys. Let's see what else I have. Then I want to talk about, want to touch bases on, um, you know, of course, sometimes this can really affect the kids, you know, up in you in every two to three years. I just say what I do is, you know, 
I kind of talk to my kids ahead of time, like prep them for it. Like, you know, we're going to be PCS in the family or whatever. And how do you feel about it? I always talk to them. But I do want to, when my kids get into a higher grade, I want to stay put. You know, that way they can enjoy their the rest of their years with their friends you know and graduate with their friends so i do want to do that you guys i like this is just my personal experience um the reason why i wrote down things is because i don't want to be like oh i'm playing with Lucy, you know but that's basically what i'm doing right now basically that's basically what i'm doing right now but i just wanted to like really just sh sh tell talk to you guys about like pcs is it can be stressful. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and act like it's not. Stress for me will be like the unknown. Like, so we're unsure if we're going to live off, on or off course. You know what I mean? I want to make sure my kids are straight with their schools. You know? Like, I want them to go to a good school. Um, and I wouldn't say, like, it's a big factor, but I want to find me a job. I don't like being in the house. I want to work. You know what I mean? So that's like, and then I've never been there before, of course, and just meeting people and stuff like that. So um, it is good to have a binder. I always had a binder um, that I carry with me when I, when we PCS, and I have like everything in it that I need, like from shot records to important information. I just have my little binder with me, you guys. There's no certain order I just know that I need to my mom always my mom's um my dad was in the military so my mom taught me to always carry to take a a binder with me so I always bring that with me and um what else of course you know <clears throat> when leaving you gotta clean the house the military housing so we're gonna be doing that soon you guys and um and also from what I know, the military covers like your gas, your food, and your hotel. Right? I think they cover that. And but if you're like moving yourself, they'll give you some money. And I know like if you're doing like a like a partial duty move, I don't think they give you the money for it. So you have to pay out your pocket for that. I do know that, um, but other than that, you guys, I'm just going to try to make the best of it um, and be there for my kids because it is different. Um, where I'm going, it's going to be a bigger post, and so I'm just going to have to, yes. Can I go play? Yes, go ahead, please. No, no, that's not good. But yeah, so you guys, like I said, Every PCS move is different. So, all I'm going to do is take it one day at a time. And I just wanted to touch bases on the PCS part of you guys. But, so, yeah. I hope that was enough information. You do, like I said, you should still make an appointment for housing. Still do the, um, like, link up, go on Facebook and, like, uh, I'm not gonna say apply, but uh, friend, uh, what's it called, y'all? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Do the Facebook thing for wherever you're going. The wives are there, they're really helpful, they're really nice. So, I feel like you should do that. And, um, what else is there? I'm trying to think. Hmm. So basically, this is how it's going to go. Um, you set up a date for transportation. Transportation comes and gets your stuff. And then once they get your stuff, they'll pack you up. The next day, they'll come and get the boxes that they packed up and take it. Then you will, of course, clean the housing, it, uh, <clears throat> clean the housing up. And then you will be on your way to your next duty station. Now, I do know that 
If you have more than one car and you want to ship them, you got to pay that out of your own pocket. They don't take, the military does not take care of that. That is your responsibility. Um, no, but anyways. That's about it, y'all. I hope this video was not all over the place. I wasn't trying to make it all over the place. But. And I feel like even if you don't want to move, like, stay positive. You know what I mean? Because if you're negative, then I feel like that energy that you're get that negative energy that you're giving will get will rub off on your kids. So just stay positive for them because you know it's an adjustment for the for the kids also, and it's just and an adjustment for the kids also. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So right now, also you guys, like I'm just all over the place. I've been like throwing stuff away and getting ready to for the move. You know what I mean? Because you don't want to like move with a whole bunch of junk and clutter and all that stuff. Well, I don't. At least I don't. So that's what I've been doing. Like throwing away stuff, stuff that's too small, getting ready to away or whatever. That's what I've been doing. I'm taking me a little break. Because I need to go in the garage and I got some like arts and crafts stuff that I need to like go through and throw away and stuff like that. Because I do, I do a lot of crafts with my son. So yeah, that's um, basically it. Yeah. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.